update is that in one of my um, thyroid appointments, um, you know, we were kind of discussing how like my periods in the last year, year and a half or two, I'm not quite sure, have been kind of irregular and I was just, you know, saying like talking about my thyroid because that could be what's causing it because I was always really regular even without birth control because I haven't been on birth control for a while. Um, so it that drastically started changing and we were just talking about um, you know thyroid and like how that could be affected and you know the doctor was explaining to me once we get you on a regular dose everything will be back to regular you know you'll, you'll be regular again hopefully and um, because my husband and I we were talking about hopefully starting to like think about having you know kids and we weren't sure I know a lot of people with thyroid issues have sometimes a much harder time getting pregnant because of how wacky your thyroid hormones could be. So we were talking about that. So basically my husband and I just, you know, kind of agree that we weren't going to prevent it anymore. Just going to go with the flow and see what happened because we did, ex we were kind of thinking if this takes us a year and we don't know if it's going to take more, then, you know, we might as well just like start not preventing it now. But the news is, is that it actually happened right away. So the second news that I have for this video is that I'm actually pregnant and that's why I haven't been filming either because it's just been an emotional, draining, physically, mentally experience from my surgery to then getting pregnant and to show you this. Um, this is an ultrasound of 13 weeks. Currently, I am 16 and a half. So maybe when this video goes up, I'll be like 17. Um, so I've been kind of, yeah, feeling like I've been sick since December because I was sick a good month after my surgery and then right after that we conceived and I didn't really know and I just felt crappy and exhausted and then I, I mean, then I took a test and I knew, but then I was nauseous 24 hours a day. The vomiting was insane at night. It was, it, it was bad and um, you know from what I've read and from what my doctor even tells me you know the thyroid being like lower and wacky doesn't help with these symptoms either so I don't know what percentage of tiredness comes from pregnancy what comes from thyroid but all I know is that like I've been feeling really really bad like I was coming home from work not being able to do anything taking three hour naps and just waking up and it was like dark outside and then I'm like okay so now it's time to go to sleep and I would go to sleep and sleep, still sleep after a nap. It, it, it's like I've never experienced exhaustion love like an exhaustion level as I've experienced lately. It's been crazy. I am feeling better though and that's why I'm filming this video. Energy level is still not the same uh, which now I really think it's due to my thyroid anymore because I'm past my first trimester, so you know, usually they say, oh yeah, second trimester, you start feeling so great and energetic and blah, blah, blah. I'm definitely feeling a lot better. I'm not nauseous like all the time. I get like nauseous after I take my prenatals and like sometimes during the day, like at weird times, but mostly at night. But it's, at least it's not like 24 hours a day. And I do feel like I'm a little bit more energetic but I'm still not there um, and I still have like a little bit of brain fog so I think those are more related to my thyroid hormones just being wacky more than anything which let me tell you dealing with pregnancy and adjusting your thyroid hormones to you and the baby because the baby depends on your thyroid hormones too is has been crazy because I feel like it was already hard to adjust it to me now I have to adjust it to this human being that's inside of me and it's just being like way way harder so that's the news i was really excited to you know announce it um i've only i've been really late to announce it to people i've only told like a couple of close friends past my first trimester definitely because so you know just just scared of you know miscarriages with with my thyroid hormones being off you know the higher there's a higher rate of miscarriages with that so I've kind of waited a long time and then I've been slowly just telling people um, and then uh, I think I'm going to announce it this week to everyone. So I wanted to include you guys too in the announcement. So um, I did take cute pictures with my niece 
uh, which I'll probably post on my Facebook and Instagram, so don't forget to check me on those sites so you can see them. So yeah, those are the news. I wanted to give you a health update and then the really good news um, about me being pregnant. I'm due September 29th, um, and I find out in a couple of weeks if we're having a boy or a girl, and I am finding out. Um, I like get people that don't because I get that it's exciting, but I'm way too controlling and I need to be I need to like organize and get things going um, and I just need to know like I don't know to me too it's a little bit of I think it'll, it will help me like bond a little bit more once I know whether it's a girl or a boy um, because like right now we're in the process of looking at names so once I know what it is then I can decide more on a name maybe call the, the you know the baby by the name and just bond a little bit more because now sometimes I kind of forget that I'm pregnant until then you see the ultrasound and you're like holy moly this was 13 weeks and you already see so much and the baby was moving like crazy and I just can't believe that you can see so much at 13 weeks but we are getting an anatomy ultrasound at week 20 and that's when they look at all the organs and you get to find out the sex of the baby um, let me know if you want to see pregnancy updates um, I've, those have always been one of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube. I've been, like, I was watching, honestly, pregnancy up, like, pregnancy videos way before I even started watching beauty videos. Um, so let me know. Like, I've always enjoyed watching them. I think for me it would be cool to have them as, you know, like, a memory to, to look back and see, you know, watch them one day. But I'm not sure if I want to do the pregnancy updates just in written format on my blog or actual videos. So that kind of depends on you too. If you feel like the blog format, just you know, writing about it week by week is fine, um, you know, let me know. Or if you want to actually see videos and like updates, you know, just baby updates, news, uh, symptoms, if you're trying to get pregnant or you know, if you want that kind of information. Um, yeah, we haven't started doing anything with the nursery yet. We're still like finishing construction in our room, in our master bathroom. So once that's done, we're going to move on to the nursery. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait for that. Um, yeah, so that is it for today. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, just comment down below with any questions, any comments, any requests. Let me know what you want to see from me. Um, I do have to say, like, I'm still not feeling 100% yet. So. Please don't judge me if I'm not posting as often as, as I was before my surgery. I would always post like twice a week. Um, I'm not, I don't think I could do that yet. But I am going to try to post more on my Instagram and Facebook and then maybe blog more. Do a lot of more, you know, just fill in with blog posts because sometimes I feel like I do want to talk about certain products that I've been trying. Um, and even now, like I've been trying so many things that you know, I could just maybe write a blog post and keep you, keep you guys updated that way versus filming, editing, doing the whole nine yards, which takes a lot more effort. And when I come home from work, like during the week, I'm so tired that there's no way I can film. So my filming will be like kind of reserved for the weekends, which today's Sunday, that's when I'm filming. So just please bear with me. Like don't expect two videos a week right away. Um, but I am, I'm promising that I am going to try to do a better job at just keeping you guys updated and coming back with like videos. So let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me. I'm not going to turn this channel into just pregnancy and baby stuff. Um, let me know if you want to see empties because as you can imagine, I've ac accumulated quite a lot of empties in five months. So I have that if you want to see that. Um, if you want to see more of my what I eat in a day videos. Um, I don't know, like my grocery hauls, I think you guys seem to like those, um, reviews on any type of products, just let me know and I will write those down and I promise to be back more regularly. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of you that have been with me for such a long time and are always so sweet and so concerned about me and didn't give up on me even though I have been feel like I've been gone for ages and on YouTube five months is like three years. So thank you so much for staying with me and not giving up on me. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon. Oh, and I
I didn't really show you my bump because I feel like I don't have a round bump right now. I just look like I ate too many cakes and I'm just bloated. But if you let me attempt to show you, it's definitely more out there. But this is all I have right now. So I guess it is a bump. So it's not much of anything, but I can tell you that it already makes a difference with um, with clothing because on the weekends I'm always wearing like these yoga pants because that's all I'm comfortable with, and then um, during the week I'm still wearing my regular clothing except my skinny skinny jeans don't fit anymore. Certain pants I can make them fit, but I don't button. If like they have two buttons, I won't button the last one. Um, but I'm not wearing maternity clothing yet. Um, so yeah, like I do have a bump at night, like as I eat, and I guess you like retain fluid throughout the day. And I once I put on my pajamas, I'm like holy moly, I do see it. Um, but it's not like for someone that if they did, if I think if you didn't know I was pregnant, it just looks like I gained a lot of like abdominal fat or I just bloated or I just ate a big dinner um, I don't think you could tell right away oh that girl's pregnant you know what I mean so it's really that awkward stage that you don't look all you know gracious with your bump you just look you know a little bit chubby so yeah so that's why like I didn't know if I was gonna show you my bump but I guess you know to make it a little bit more real I do have something here so yeah all right so now I'm really going talk to you guys later bye